Like if I go to Etsy and I type in rake your position, uh, the first thing is labor and birth positions handout. So (laughs) I saw that the other day. I'm like, what did I just search? Welcome back to another exciting edition of Rake Your Position, where four lifelong friends are living out the dream from the comfort of the chairs. I'm Aaron, your host, and go Buccaneers. Hmm. I'm I'm Joe, the groundskeeper. I just want to say I keep receipts. <laughs> like all receipts or just? No, I keep receipts on y'all, so you'll hear about I- it. Okay. Well, I'm Jay Lee the Rover. That's an interesting topic. And on to you. Uh, I'm Corey the Statman. I was actually just looking at a receipt. I went to Walmart earlier and, and trying to decipher what I bought because yep, I don't want to. forgot him. him. Yeah. He keeps them. Uh, yeah, turns out it was a frozen copy. pizza. I couldn't figure out what it was. It's a frozen pizza. Well, you probably can't remember because Joe has it. What brand? Uh, Tombstone. Solid choice. Oh, yeah. Is that a Red Baron? I think I went with Tombstone. Are you going to elaborate now or later, Joe? Yeah. I'm just gonna later. Drop it on. All right. Well, well we're back uh, as we get ready for the next round of the playoffs. Uh, the f- series have started up a little bit, but we want to drop in and recap the division series uh, that wrapped up last week, give our predictions for the championship series, and talk about some upcoming games. Uh, so with that, we're just going to go kind of round robin through these series and give our thoughts um, and talk about uh, talk about what we noticed. So, uh, yeah, our first one was Houston and Minnesota. What did you guys think about that series? Any surprises? Um, who did you who did you predict to win? Remind us of that. Yeah. Um, nope. Yep. Oh. Oh. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. I'll go. It's OK. I'll go. I'll nah. go, guys. Jared, okay. Well, <laughs> I I picked the Astros. Uh, I don't think it was that surprising. Um, the Twins hung in there ish. Um, they're close a couple games. Uh, they did win a game. I mean, they made it to the DS, which is pretty impressive. Just because yeah, a of, round of applause for the Twins. Yeah, just because they were not super great. Um, they won their division, but in that division, that's not saying a lot. Um, Cleveland by fifteen. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, no, or the White Sox was the other option from this group. So um, take nobody, just, nobody just not by to fifteen. Games. We say, yeah, that's true. <laughs> nobody, nobody called their shot quite like that. But uh, anyway, I didn't think it was particularly close. Yeah, it just seemed like they had it. Twins, I think. Um, I think pretty much their whole team's going to be back next year. Like all their pitchers are going to be back. Uh, I think it's it's on the up and up. I think after maybe this performance this year, they go out and do something a little bit in the off season. Hopefully, because they didn't do anything during this season. Um, but okay, there we go. I was just riffing here, waiting for Mister White Sox hat to come back. So great job! It is a great hat. But anyway, Astros had it all the way, just yeah, like I thought they would. Solid hat, Aaron. Yeah, guess where I found it. Chicago? No. Burlington Co Factory. <laughs> they just had second okay. guess. In the <laughs> they bathroom? had random hats on the wall. And this is the 50th anniversary. It's on one of the sides. It was on 50th, the one. Yep. 50th anniversary. It's a $45 hat. Got it for $10. Wow. So, yeah, you never know. Check out Burlington Co Factory randomly and you find some decent hats. Hmm. The more you know. Mm hmm. I'd like to give a quick shout out just to the Burlington uh, Coat Factory. Well, <laughs> yes, they have some really nice um, overcoats. But uh, if the MLB just has a bunch of stuff that like, they just trying to get rid of, you can send it to us. We need gear. Mm-hmm. It's just sure. a rep. Mm-hmm. It's we're reaching a large audience, and you have a you have a good Rude. deal here if you get us some. Merch. And I'm not trying to pay fifty bucks for a hat, even though I will. And also, Even please don't come did. after us for tagging one of my shirts with MLB. <laughs> please. Uh, yeah, I was excited for this because we've gone to the White Sox stadium, but I didn't have a White Sox hat, so I was excited they had one. 
Cool. Anyway, nice. back to Twins Astros. Anybody else? Uh, mine will be real quick. I think you all know who I wanted to win. Minnesota. It didn't happen, but um, my heart, my soul, my body voted for Minnesota, but my brain also knew that Houston was going to win. But I just mm. maybe next year I'll vote for him more because that's cost me a lot more um, games in our competitions here. But uh, I don't know. I just I can't get the image out of my mind of Jose Altuve clutching his chest, telling them not to rip his jersey off. <laughs> So until yeah, then, I'm always for Houston at all. You probably would have ran away with our predictions. Probably. Yeah. But that's all I really got. But yeah, congrats to Minnesota for making it that far. Um, we'll see what they can do in the offseason to keep it rolling. Yeah, they're not going to do anything in the offseason. So they're probably going to lose okay. Gray and. That's Minnesota. a hot take. It's Minnesota. So they're probably. I don't know. They did sign Carlos, but that was after he signed with six other teams that didn't work out. Um, I'm injured. Um, I mean, I have a bum knee, shoulder, back. So if the Twins want to sign me, after I got turned down by all the other teams, so I'll take a deal. There you go. Anyway, I, I had I had to look at the the projections because I forgot who I did pick, but I did pick Houston, probably because I can name more players on Houston than I can Minnesota. Um, three compared to two, but <laughs> Houston. Um, I guess we're not talking about the CS yet, but Houston is uh, doing pretty well there too. So they're they're rolling. They're playing that October ball. Yeah, I said going into the wild card round that you know Twins I actually picked them to win the wild card. Figured with Gray and Lopez, but long series, they're just outmatched. Um, at some point this postseason, or maybe kick off the off season, we'll talk about playoff format a little bit more in depth too but the, the twins may be the worst team in the playoffs um because i do think the marlins are probably no. better than them if you dive into the stats um so um not surprised houston houston's playoff beast uh so special the- shout out to the twins um home run celebration uh land of a thousand rakes uh fishing vest uh, oh, yeah, that's okay. pretty cool. Uh, also, rakes, so, <laughs> so hey, gardening tools and hoses. All right, this next <laughs> one is probably maybe Jared's favorite series going into it. It didn't quite turn out the way we <laughs> thought it would, but we got Texas versus Baltimore in the DS. Jared was, I think, the first to jump on both those bad bandwagons. He was rating Baltimore high at the beginning of the year and was raking Texas before the rest of us even gave him any votes. So, Jared, why don't you start off there with Texas and the Baltimore series? Yeah, um, I think I probably was the one to jump on the trains the quickest um, in the season. Unfortunately, the team I wanted to pan out um, decided that they'd forgot how to play some baseball. Um, Baltimore just maybe it was the young guns they had not having the experience but I mean Texas is here Texas I think we all considered to be a super scary team if they got into the playoffs and they're showing that Um, I think their pitching staff we'll get into it a little bit more later but their pitching staff was solid from Montgomery but then also the other pieces behind them and that offense um Lean the way with Corey Seager. I, I think I sent you guys a stat of him. He's like the first person to have five walks and like a DS or something like that. Like that's insane. <laughs> he was one for one with five walks. So mm-hmm. that's that's pretty nuts in that game. But I mean, kudos to Baltimore for I mean turning it around pretty quick. And I think we talked about it in season two with them bringing up all the young guns and not being afraid to keep them up. Um, and I think they proved that um, that team can be scary for a long time. I think need need a little bit of pitching help which we can talk about more in the off season, but if they go out and get some veterans there, I think they could be a very scary team for a very long time. Yeah. I was just looking at the, uh, the postseason stats and I mean, everybody knew that Baltimore's pitching was probably going to be their weak spot and they, yeah, three games, 7.27 ERA last of all 12 teams. Um, I had him winning his, that series as well. Um, you know, they killed it during the regular season, but wah, wah. Texas 
Texas is hot. That's my take. The weather's quite warm, too. Mm-hmm. Corey, what do you get? Yeah. I, I, again, I, not to you know, toot my own horn here, but exactly what I expected to happen happened. Uh, maybe not to the extent that it happened. I, I thought Baltimore would put up a little bit more of a fight, but, uh, Again, I, I think I compared them to the 2015 Cubs, where just they have the the young guys that need the exposure to the playoffs, and then next year I think is where we're really going to see them kind of put on a, a little bit better of a show. But again, if, if we're if we're giving uh, kudos to these losing teams, which I think we are, the fact that they were the number one seed in the AL, uh, I think it goes. Tells you a lot about them as a team, um, but I, yeah, I think just kind of when it got to the pressure situations, Texas has a little bit better um, experience. People that have been there, you know, Seager again played on those those Dodger teams and was in the playoffs a lot. Um, there's just guys that have been in the playoffs and know what to expect yeah. and what goes on there. But <laughs> um, not to, but didn't what they finish last year? What did Baltimore finish last year in their division? Were they were they last or were close to last? Uh no, because they they finished strong. Uh, well, yeah. they may have been last, but they had a decent record for a rebuild. Um, it's always I forget. I know like quite what that turned out. I mean, but even yeah, fourth over five hundred were last. Yeah, they and were, then the year they, before that is probably when they weren't too good, right? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, shout out Brandon Hyde. Rebuild. Yes. Okay, yeah, shout out. No, I mean he's not. He doesn't listen to the pot. I don't think. Hi, Brandon. But, uh, Shout out Brandon Hyde, um, and how Cubs guy. Like the last name of the GM is it Elias or Elias? Yeah, oh, Mike Elias. Mike Elias. Um, but it's it, it's especially cool, I think, with Brandon Hyde because it sounds like people love him, and a lot of times these managers of the rebuild don't get to manage at the end of the rebuild. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's cool that he's there, and I Can't would assume is now. <laughs> yeah. Um. So it's you know I've I've only read and heard great things about him and I loved him when he was um, with the Cubs. So it's it's just cool to see that that guy who was on the staff with the Cubs now doing some pretty big things with this team that um, turned things around very quickly. So yes, very quick rebuild. Who uh, remind me who else they've been starting? Because I know Grayson and Kramer got some starts. What other starters did they use in that series? Because both those guys are young. Like Kramer kind of had a breakout this year. Grayson, what was it mean? It wasn't means, down. was it? No, means means got activated, but he wasn't going to start. I mean, so there were three. There was whoever started the third game, right? Because there were three. Yeah. Kramer uh, started the last game. I know that. Okay. Um, just keep talking because he also, uh, not to get too low or anything like that, but uh, he pitched for Team Israel, and so he had all that going on, um, with his relatives and all that crazy stuff's going on in the world right now. So I know he was talking about that before the game started. So it's just a crazy situation to be thrown oh. into. Bradish, who actually did really well this year. Uh, Kyle yeah, Bradish. Bradish had a good good year, yeah. yeah. Kind of a breakout too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, those, those are three young guys that they're going to have back for a while um, that if they keep taking positive steps forward. Plus, they, they lost Batista. I know he kept trying to come back. Mm-hmm. It's going to be one of those Joe's favorite injury stories. Where they don't immediately cut his arm open to fix it, they try to rehab it. But he was trying to trying to pitch in the postseason and just couldn't. And so now he finally had the surgery, or is going to. I don't know if he has yet or not. But um, <laughs> so so yeah, they were just they were getting by on smokes and smoke and mirrors on that rotation, and then a hurt bullpen. But yeah, it'll be fun to watch them over the next couple of years for sure. And I think Baltimore's a, a big enough franchise, baseball town, that surely they can keep this core together. I don't want to hear any money complaints or money issues coming from that that franchise because that's that's a joke. <laughs> that well, that seems town like maybe, will go crazy if, if they're good. It seems like maybe this group showed quite a bit that they could pay the, these people the extra money to stick around. I mean, Jackson Holiday's not even up yet, too. So, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, they've got... Kobe Mayo is going to be ready next year. Westberg just barely played this year. Um, they rotated twelve rookie outfielders to the outfield. I mean, they're they're so loaded on position player side. Um, they need to go spend big on the on free agent rotation, which everybody's going to be because there's not that many choices out there. But yeah, Baltimore, 
kind of just ran out of gas. It's fun to watch, but Texas is clicking on all cylinders. So, Next one, Joe, why don't you start us off with the uh, Arizona-Los Angeles conversation. Don't know that you had much of a dog in either of this fight, but... Oh, I got a dog in the fight. You did have Arizona win the World Series after losing the <laughs> Brewers, so... <laughs> They were my second choice. That is no, they my third choice. <laughs> Your third choice, yeah. Um, one of us we're going to get there eventually, but I'll just go ahead and talk about how terrible all the uh, top seeds played this playoffs. Um, what the playoffs, top five teams playoffs. were one in thirteen. Is that correct? Is that right? Yeah. Top five teams, one in thirteen, all eliminated. That is wild. Uh, and this was. You know, another one of those games where if you just look at, like, win-loss, you're like, oh, wow, the Dodgers are going to roll these guys. But um, And I had that happening, and so did three of the four of us have that happening. I don't know who didn't. Um, but, um, Aaron, you did have the D-back, so why don't you, why don't you tell us why? Uh, a lot of it's been what I've been saying all year. I just thought they had a little bit better depth than the Dodgers. Dodgers are very superstar heavy, um, and their three superstars did absolutely nothing. Um, Mookie and Freddie were one for 21, and that one hit was an infield single by Freddie, not Mookie. And then Kershaw, for whatever reason, uh, Hmm. is just bad in the playoffs outside of a a few good series over his career. And, I mean, they lit him up, and it wasn't even even much of a series. And after that, they're relying on rookies – while they're throwing out Cy Young candidates in Arizona. So um, now the Arizona guys, they got some young guys. They were setting records for guys 21 and 22 years old hitting homers, multiple homers. I don't know. All these stats are flying around Moreno and Alec Thomas. Um, but, of course, Corbin Carroll and Christian Walker and Cattell Marte, the three studs, also played well. So I just Arizona's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, their lineup was deeper than L.A.'s. And if the superstars aren't playing for L.A., playing well, then they're very susceptible to getting beaten. So, um, But, yeah, it is weird. Joe alluded to it. The the top five teams, anybody who had more than 90 wins in the season got eliminated last round, <laughs> which is insane. So we'll see how that turns out because Houston had 90 wins, and they're the last remaining team with 90. You know, we did mention a few different times prior to the playoffs that uh, the regular season does not matter now at this point. Mm-hmm. You just got to sneak in. Um, but I I am surprised that the Dodgers I d- d- didn't even put up much of a fight. I, I that, that seems harsh, but... Um, you know, Lance Lynn had trouble with the home run ball all year. Still did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just one inning. Yeah. Uh, and I think he just forgave us. Well, not with that comedy. He's definitely not <laughs> yeah, he's on the back off now. the list. Well, I don't think we could probably, I don't think Lance Lynn would, we would lose our ratings. Our, <laughs> our, our, well, we would um, get put in a different category. That's for Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's, I, you say that they are the th- the three superstars, but I mean, there's looking at these lineups like these are guys like Chris Taylor has always performed on the playoffs. He's not a superstar. He's, I'm not saying he's a superstar. Him, I'm not. I'm not. Freeman, the no, same no, 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 sentence. No, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to say it. But you like you're making it sound. You made it sound like there's three guys and then a bunch of scrubs. There like, is. It's not a bunch What's of. Chris Taylor does of, since he signed that extension. I don't. Know. I mean, he's JD Martinez uh, and Max Muncie both had 100 RBI. There were four guys in the Dodgers that had 100 RBIs this year: uh, Freddie Mookie, JD, and Max Muncie. Will Smith's a great has in the past done great. Um, like it, it's it's not like we're talking about nobodies here. Like these are all guys that have been good, and like it's there are. A little bit older. Those guys don't scare you, though. And we see, like, we're going to talk about Philly. Superstars carry you in the playoffs. Um, And, yeah. That's, Those guys don't scare you. That's fair, but, I, you know, they should still help out. But, yeah, the Dodgers just... I don't... 
embarrassing is too much, but it wasn't, it wasn't not, not embarrassing. So correct. Yep. <laughs> they call that pooping in your bed. <laughs> yeah. And We've all been there. Games at home too, which I did see a stat. I should have saved it. Maybe, maybe it's codified on Twitter. So maybe Corey thought too. Uh, since the playoffs were expanded, what, three years ago, whatever, uh, home team actually has a losing record in the playoffs. Do you see that stat by chance? It was really close. Know. It was a couple games under 500. But then coming to the next series, Philly, I saw it's going into the Braves series, so it's gone up. Philly uh, is at like 70% winning home games. Like when the rest of the league is under 500, but Philly wins 70% of their home games in the playoffs. Um, and so, yeah, the last series, the Braves-Phillies, which we thought was probably the the marquee matchup of this round. Um, the Braves put up a fight in three of the four games. Um, two of them were low scoring. So the pitching, pitching one, like Strider, Strider looked great both his starts, gave up a few homers, but he only gave up three. The night four, they hit six. So I guess he pitched well. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, Harper and Castellanos just, they took over. Um and that's all she wrote. Philly is a crazy place to play. You see that. And uh, I know all of you guys picked them to to win this series. Uh, I was scared, but I still still on paper. You look at the Braves are by far the better team on paper. But you got to get hot at the right time. And uh, Philly, Philly's done it back-to-back years. It was weird how pretty much identical it was to last year. Um, Braves beat. Phillies by 14 games this year and last year. Split at home, get destroyed game three, first one in Philly, and then lose game four. So back to back years, Phillies whooped the Braves, knocked them out, and uh, they're looking good. Today, when we started recording, they were up four nothing, bases loaded. So I don't know what the score is right now if anybody's got it pulled up, but. It was five nothing last five, time I looked. Five, five two yeah. last time I looked. Okay. okay. That was so, yeah. uh, that good. was much too tame. I I really was hoping that there was going to be a little bit more uh action in that. It's the playoffs. I've seen this happen a lot with stacked Braves teams that are clear favorites to win the World Series and they choke. Um I don't know. Strider pitched well, the bullpen pitched well. Freed had a rough start, but that's the one that they came back from. But it doesn't even matter because they scored eight runs in four games. They only did that once all year, and that was in September. They only scored eight runs in a four-game stretch. And then we talked about this earlier. They weren't shut out at home all year. And game one, Philly shut them out. So just a lot of inability to hit. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, used up all those runs in the regular season. Yeah, exactly. So, baseball. This Phillies team, I mean, it's it's a it's very similar to the Phillies team last year, and both times they're just fun, man. Like mm-hmm. seeing Harper and Cassianos, and like I love like, Nick Schwarber. Cassianos, Schwarber too. But Nick Cassianos played on the Cubs for half a season. Like, might be one of my favorite Cubs of all, like of my lifetime. Like, he's just a fun dude. And like he's, he's, you know, he's got some swag. He's cocky, but it's not over the top. Like he bat flipped a homer, and it was more just like a, it was kind of like a, a shrug off sort of thing, um, as opposed to like doing this like you know a very extravagant bat flip or like really throwing the bat. He just kind of, I don't know. I mean, it's the playoffs. How are you not bat flipping that yeah. bad boy into the yeah. stands? Oh, yeah. Like Hoskins last year slammed that on Strider. Mm-hmm. Got no problem with that. And Strider doesn't either. He he's never trash talked. I do get tired of the fans and Philly media telling the Braves act like they've been there before when the Phillies are out there juggling you know what every time they get a hit. Like <laughs> just you can't have it both ways. Like just let everybody have fun. Shut up when the other teams are doing it too. But yeah, they're fun to watch. Yeah. Well, I, I, I look forward to continuing to watching them. And kind of watch them. Probably about seven more games, probably. That's all I'm going to need. Yeah, which I guess here is where I where I pull out my oh, my black and white printed receipt as I listened 
two pods ago. Uh, let me think of how many words I can come up with. Scoffed at, ridiculed, laughed at, um, taken as a joke. <laughs> That's all I can think of, Jay Lee. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need to count. Okay. When we had our World Series picks, and I had third pick, and I took the Phillies, that's what happened when I said, I'll take Philadelphia. Everybody. I know you all picked them to beat the Braves, too, but you all... Oh, no, some... I think those two were mad that they didn't get the Phillies. Yeah. That was their no. reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better no, go. No, no, I no, made no. fun of you. you go back no, 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 no. Corey had, the opportunity. Corey had the opportunity to take Philly. He took Houston. I was mad. I was yeah. mad because Philly did not fall to four, which I thought they would. That's yeah. true. I thought That's Philly true. would fall give, to seven. I'll give Jay Lee that, but <laughs> I would was, not go to seven. I was scoffed, and both of my NL teams are still there. <laughs> so true. none of my teams are in it. <laughs> no, I just yeah, like I'm to out. say I still have the receipt. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Prime says that, so I feel like I need to say it. I yeah, really Prime's don't. doing well. How's that going for him? <laughs> I forget you and Coach Prime are the exact same. I mean, we look league. different, but as far That's as different. athletic talent, we do have athletic a lot of talent, uh, <laughs> mindset. Times. Yeah, I don't times. have. I don't. My right big toe is gone. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Um. So yeah, go, I mean, I enjoy watching the Phillies play. Nobody talked about Trey Turner. He's only like batting five hundred. So um, I've been tooting his horn all year. It's it's never yeah, worked out for me, but maybe now it might. Yeah, and Wheeler and Wheeler Nola, I mean, just just pump strikes and throw fastballs. And you win. Not, I, I mean, I've been saying that for 19 months. Man, maybe I, maybe I should have been a second baseman. I've got a thing for just, like, I love second baseman on any team. Like, I feel like that's the position that, like, is just so underrated and, like, just makes the team go. Like, I don't I agree. I was that. a big, I was a big Daniel Descalzo fan when he was with the Cardinals. Come on the pod, Daniel. I've got a signed helmet from you. <laughs> so, uh, and I want I a signed helmet from you. So, I just, I like, uh, I like what he's doing over there at second base. So, I, I just want to give him uh, his flowers. Yep. Any other thoughts on the division series? I had one. It's gone now, though. So that's why I was sitting here deep in thought, uh, trying to uh, figure um, out what. I think we can just do our. Uh, we can send the Braves their flowers, Cooney. I, yeah. I apologize that it ended this way. Um, we'll be back. The hate whole to see it. Teams back next year. Well, I hope so. They're making like a dollar a year on their Great. contracts. Great. Now my my rant is coming whenever we talk about the playoff format, but we'll talk about playoffs. that in a different pod. Playoffs. All right, so uh, remind us, Corey, you're the stat man. Uh huh. Oh, hey, real quick about Castellanos. Um, uh-huh. I think he's the only qualified player this year not to have an error. And so that's a fun fact for you if you want to find that stat man. I think he is. Now, his fielding, you know, his range, his defensive value yeah. is still not good, but he didn't have an error, which, like last year in the playoffs, he decided he could play defense and it was crazy. Well, so what? It's, it's weird. So last year in the playoffs, they apparently found out that he struggles going back into the right, and so what they did is they they moved him back into the right, and like he's very good at going in and to the left. So he basically yeah. they positioned Complain him to the where, corner, yeah, and run in and like catch everything. Everything is in yeah. a in his direction that he's better at fielding at. Yeah, and, and it's worked um, for him. Yeah, that was that was my big knock all year: is the defense be bad. Turner made a ridiculous play game one to save it uh, when Ozzy hit 104 off the bat and Turner dove and turned it. Ozzy Smith, uh, my guy. But then Ozzie, every one Ozzie's of been been after that was Trey Turner booting routine plays. So like he had two or three errors in the series, but he makes the ridiculous plays. But now with Harper playing first, they can D H Schwarber in their outfield defense has been great. So they fixed mm-hmm. their defense, and that was that was their one. Achilles heels, so to speak, I thought they had. But yeah, so the powerhouse coming through. Uh so talk about our predictions then, Corey, as we come off that series. Predictions for the championship series. Yep. Real quick, sorry about Castellanos. Remember when he stood over the Cardinals pitcher and Yachty put him in his place? I do, and that was pretty <laughs> cool. I know Corey thought Yachty uh 
Yeah, he oversteps there. Yeah, he oversteps really everything. Him. Can't wait till he's in the bench and gets ejected every game for for a other team clapping and he's giving throat slits to him. <laughs> there were some throat slits in this series, by the way. Yeah. Um. So, are you wanting me to talk about our how we fared in our DS predictions, or are you want? Me yeah, to yeah. Say... Recap the DS predictions. Okay. So we didn't quite cover right. them all, I don't think. Yeah. So we have uh my I'm gonna go in the order of the agenda where I recorded these, so it's not the one the order that we just talked about. Okay. Nice. I'll, I'll switch it around. So it's the, we have the twins and astros. Uh Jared took the twins uh because he is legally obligated to do so. <laughs> and everyone my else took the Astros. So. Yeah. Um so you know, probably we all were right there, but one of us Dubber. has morals, I guess. Um <laughs> Can't change now, man. The then we had the Rangers at Orioles, where I took the Rangers and everyone else took the Orioles. Uh, wah, wah. So good job, me. Uh, at the same time, uh, D backs at Dodgers. Everyone took the Dodgers except Aaron, so he can pat himself on the back. And then he was on the wrong side of the Phillies at Braves, where everyone took the Phillies except Aaron. Why are you making that face? He had a little thumb come up. How'd you do that? Did you see that too? Yeah, I don't know. He did this, and a thumb popped. There up. it is. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> I know. That's now, awesome. now you You're get to hear us figure out how Zoom works. <laughs> uh, welcome okay. to the Zoom podcast. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't. We don't need that side. Or <laughs> might need to edit that um, one out. So everybody did okay ish. Yeah, three. Um, did. I did. Yeah, I had everybody but the Dodgers. Yeah, so you got Sorry. three. I got two. I wasn't keeping track. I, yeah, I, I did this okay. Isn't in my spreadsheet. I won this yeah. one. I'll just wait for. Well, next I don't want to. I don't want to brag too much. I mean, I know I did great, but I didn't want you guys to. I, I don't know how to bat flip a well. series prediction. Here, hold on. <laughs> there, nice. Let's Drop that mic. Um, but we can now talk about the NL and ALCS. Um, which there have been two ALCS games, and the Rangers might never lose again. Um, they're up 2 nothing on the Astros. Uh, I did pick um, the Astros to win this series, of course, because um, I got... Uh, my... Space City! Yeah, that, it's really cool. Uh, back Actually, on the jersey, which I no longer have, right here, right you on the back... Where... last week. Yeah, it was my brother's. He was in town. He let oh, me wear specifically for this. Um, it says "Go for launch," like where the tag is, and I thought that's a nice little touch. Um, we said "Go for," "Go for launch," you mean "Go for launch," "Go for launch." Yeah, "Go for launch." It's like a Caddyshack. "Go for launch." All right. Yeah. "Go for launch." <laughs> you don't. You don't have to tell me twice. "Go for launch." Um. Oh. It, it, this was. I think we made these predictions prior to having the confirmation that Mad Max and John Gray were back back on the roster, which I don't know that that would have changed my. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I've changed my prediction here. Uh, again, I'm going to keep riding the the Astros bandwagon. I know uh, Ben Verlander, a younger brother of Justin Verlander, who is uh, a Fox Sports guy. Uh, you know, described the Astros as inevitable, which I think is a very good. Um, I don't know if that's an adjective or noun. I'm not good with words, guys. It but sound like it's, Thanos with adjective. Yeah. Okay, it's that's a good adjective to describe the Astros because this is the seventh straight season they are in the championship series, which is bonkers. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think they're out of it. Oh, great job. Um, you know, we we've got a, a best of seven here. Two two oh is a hole, but it's not a hole that they can't get out of. So um Jared, do, do you wanna keep you could just do thumbs up or thumbs down on just you know how you think what are you things using? are? Are you on an iPad? Why is it doing that? I'm on my MacBook. So uh MacBook, okay. Fancy got Mac the power got the power of Apple. Um I picked the Rangers. Of course. You have to. You know that. Uh, Because I have to, and because I, in this one, I truly do think that that offense is just too deadly. And I think 
just a cherry on top too with Mad Max coming back. I mean, who knows? Who knows what kind of pitcher he's going to be? He hasn't pitched in a while, but anytime that you can get a three-time Cy Young Award winner on the mound in the playoffs, I'll take it. That's for sure. So, um, so far my picks looking good for once, and uh, hopefully they just sweep them and send Houston on their little way home. It's not very far. It's not far, uh, which is good for them. Yeah. Yeah. Battle of Texas going on here, which is kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Who did? Uh, I think I took Houston here. Do you have those? Do you have that documented, Corey? It was in our text. Yeah, we have everybody. Has yeah, we have receipts. You've yes. got Phillies and Houston. Oh, That's, I got Houston. Our yeah. group chat is a heck of a long receipt. I had <laughs> Houston, right? Yep. Yeah, I think Corey had been talking about how that like seven street yada 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 uh and i I probably would have went with houston anyway because once they get here they seem to just win a lot uh but looking at stats through the postseason they're leading the league in walks i wonder why they're losing literally throw strikes and you win um texas is kind of killing it both uh pitching and hitting they have a um, they have a guy named walker on their team The Ooh. Rangers? Yeah. Um, I don't think no, so. No, he's on Arizona. Or St. Louis. No. Who am I Walker, thinking Texas of? Ranger? Todd Walker? I think I'm he's thinking of Houston. Houston. No, 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 no. Houston. Houston does does Houston have, have like a Jeremy Walker? Jeremy like, Pena? A Kyle Tucker? Kyle Tucker, that's it. Good job, Cooney. Man, we're like on wow. the same wavelength. <laughs> Well, you know, I don't know how, but okay. One of them walks, one of them So talks. anyway, I was watching the game the tonight. So I was at the gym, you know. I'm a I about that's it. what I do. Anyway, and they were playing, and this guy's up there with no batting gloves. So I do <laughs> like that a lot. Big old lefty. This is about the fifth no time batting gloves on the pod. About Kyle Tucker? Dude, maybe you recall no the whole time. You know, I don't do batting gloves. I'd be out there scraping maybe, glass up with my bare hands. Maybe you don't remember <laughs> because you kept calling him Walker instead yeah. of Tucker. <laughs> I'm sure I've talked about batting gloves. I have not talked about Kyle Tucker. If you, if a listener or anybody can dig up that clip, we got another prize coming your way. Um, maybe next time. So, I guess that um, that. Still makes me want Houston to win because I picked him and he's wearing no batting gloves. Scientific fact, gloves do nothing. People use them to look cool and, and like paint and put murals on. So Texas is rolling. They haven't lost a game or nothing, but um, let's go Houston. Oh, Houston. Oh, Houston. Uh, I picked Texas. Um, some of that we alluded to is how the top teams have played poorly and if you really dive into Houston stats um I think they are the ones that survived as a bye team because they got Minnesota and Minnesota just isn't that good uh, but overall like it's been Jordan and Obreu who hadn't hit all year decided to hit the playoffs Brantley getting on base but he doesn't scare you with his thunder so it's basically been Jordan or bust for that team. Like Altuve struggling, Bregman's been okay. Um, so they've been they've been off. Um, I didn't know Gray. You said Gray's pitching, or he's he's activated at least. Yes. Um, I mean him it's and Scherzer roster. might go three or four innings. I can't expect them to go deep, but the way Montgomery and Evaldi are pitching the other two games, it's it's crazy. So yeah, I'm excited for my pick here. I like it, Texas. There was a, a really his Montgomery tore Jordan Alvarez up. Yeah. Uh and I just struck him out guys, four times, right? It's at least three. I don't know if he faced yeah. him the fourth time. It might have been. But I, I just sent you guys a picture of us uh one of the sequences of Montgomery versus Alvarez where just Pain. painting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just uh, I know he, because I think Jordan even said like, "Why, why did you struggle so much with the curveball?" And he's like, "I thought it was a fastball." It's like that seems <laughs> that's a good reason. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, that's, but that's I, why I always struggle too. He's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, and Altuve even messed up the little things. His old base running blunder yesterday. 
Did you see that? <laughs> Altuve got doubled off, not touching the second. Yes. Yeah. 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 That like was, said, I mean, that's uh, Evan Carter, that guy. Yeah. Just, Car- Carter's playing great. He's fun to watch. Yeah. But uh, I know they, like, I think they called it Montgomery's curveball a death ball. Uh, and I think that's what's, uh, that's what's getting Jordan. So yeah, he's the only one that's gotten Jordan out. Because he had a he had a bomb off of uh, Chapman today, lefty on lefty. Mm-hmm. Montgomery's about to get so much more money. Yeah, like oh yeah, you got him and Stroman who didn't hurt. Like you got to pay somebody. Might as well pay Montgomery. Stroman, be, I, be crazy. I think Stroman's is a player option. I wouldn't be surprised if he picks it up. To be honest, just because it's so thin though. That's a conversation yes. for another day, but yeah, yeah. Montgomery's playoff. Pitching is going to get him a few extra millies. Mm-hmm. Maybe a half a billy. No. Yeah, no probably not. No, probably uh, not a half a billy. But really. We'll see what Trohei gets there. But anyway, that's 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 not today. <laughs> today, we're going to talk about Philly and Arizona. Um, and this is where I think the snakes get caught. Uh I guess that's what snakes do. I'm not I sure. I can win, I'm baby. A, I'm not a snake guy. Um, he fanged. But uh I I mean we obviously I'm on the Philly Philly train. Um the it, they're a great team to watch. And the star power. I mean yeah, it's it's the Dodgers have three. It seems like every position they've got a guy. Um and, like Rojas is not a guy, but he's a dude that I don't know what's happening. We said star power. Oh, right. Yes. Um, I think in the playoffs, especially, you don't mind that guy that hits 50. And he uh, that's game, a batting average. Game four 50. is all him. Yeah. Um, but have, like a, a great center fielder can change a game, um, obviously. And it's... In the yeah. He also can s- and throw his bat into the sky trying to hit a fastball. Um, the only way, too. But, that's that's true, uh, but I'm taking Philly. Even if you, I think Wheeler and Nola, like Joe mentioned, can t- just throw strikes and take over a series. You you assume that they'll probably get four starts in a series. Ranger Suarez is doing great. I, I know when we were when we were watching uh, <laughs> when I was watching the Brave series. Well, they were like one of the commentators was like, "Oh, I was wondering who was going to be the Ranger Suarez." Uh, of the playoffs this year, and it's like I guess it was Ranger Suarez. It's like, well, yeah, he went 14 innings. I give him a run. Yeah, and I, you know maybe he doesn't keep that going, but just throw strikes, you know, like, like Joe says. But uh, anywho, uh, Fiddley's all the way. No, no doubt in my mind. Philly. Um, yeah, I mean, I. They're firing on all cylinders. You take down the number one team in the playoffs. It's game over. All the way. Sorry, Cooney. But uh, Bryce Harper is looking like Bryce Harper. I mean, I think their pitching staff's pretty solid, too, with Wheeler and Noah going into one, two. Um, and I think Arizona, maybe their youngins will show a little bit. I mean, tends to in the playoffs every now and then, but. I don't know. I I just I, I I think Philly's too hard to stop right now, with the lineup, and the pitching staff, and the momentum that they have, um, be tough to stop that team right now. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Firing on all cylinders is a good way to put it. Leading easily, leading in hitting and pitching, only team with a whip under one. Um, OPS and over over a hundred points <laughs> higher than the next team, which the next team is Arizona. But um, you know, I think Philly has a their guys have a track record, maybe of consistent hitting. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Philadelphia's got slightly older guys, and Arizona's got you know some younger guys that um. Maybe won't handle that pressure quite as well as some of the vets that the Philly has. They're killing it. They're my, they're my World Series pick. 
<laughs> and they're red, so it kind of reminds me of like, oh, maybe the Cardinals are there. Oh, no way, they're not. They're terrible. Everything that came Here out of your guys' mouth is 100% correct. That's why I originally predicted them to win, but then I saw everybody else pick them, so I switched to Arizona for fun. But I've been riding Arizona all year, so I'll stick with Umbert for them. They're fun to watch. I'm taking Arizona, uh, but it would be an upset if Arizona wins this because Philly is just Mm -hmm. scary. Maybe they got those old uh, Arizona Diamondback jerseys hanging up somewhere. They can put those on for Mm. a little bit of luck. That'd be sweet. Some Luis Gonzalez blue on the shortstop. I was wondering if maybe they sign Randy if they get to the World Series and just put him on the roster for like a late inning. Speaking of Randy, real, real quick, I, I have a it's just a side quick story. There was a clip on Instagram of like the top five fastest first pitches, and mm-hmm. he was he was number three, and he didn't even like wind up. No he just effort. stepped and fired it like seventy one miles an hour. I think it was harder <laughs> like, than that. This is insane. That's my story. Philly just looks like a great place to play in October. Like, I, I if if and when you guys, obviously, without me, go to Philly, you should try and do it for a postseason game. It's going to be a little pricey. I'll make I bet. sure to wear my brave stuff. Yeah. Well, maybe don't you do that. Coming back with you, yeah. I'll show you the show you how they really act. Maybe maybe next year the Pirates and the Phillies will be in the playoffs. Maybe they'll play each other, and you guys can knock both those out. Uh, and then I'll cheer you on from my chair. Can you just come to? Can you just come to one game? Ah, uh, just one. Depends if you're there or not. It's you know. Okay. Wow. There it is. <laughs> there it is. All right, guys. So that's what we got. We're gonna get another pod in after the CSs are done. When we're prepping for a Texas Arizona World Series, that's when we'll be back at you next. Uh, so keep the comments coming, keep the uh reviews coming, and yeah. check us out on Etsy. We got some gear, Corey. Tell them about our gear. Uh, we have buddy. gear, it's uh, still a work in progress. There are some t shirts available. Uh, if you go to rake your position, dot Etsy dot com, uh, I think that'll probably get you there. Can we put the Let's, link in our description? We probably check yeah, the sure. description. Yeah, we can do that. Um, also, we have a written review on iTunes. Uh, we know who you are. We kind of know where you live, but you should uh, <laughs> send send uh, send me an email, and we can get you. Uh, send me what shirt you want, what color you want, what size you want. Probably your address, so I can get it to you, and we'll get you a T-shirt. And also, if anybody else wants to write a review on iTunes. You, you can probably get one too. We'll we'll put your we'll put all the people who uh, write us a review their names in a hat in between episodes, and then we'll draw a name. And if your name's that one, you get a T-shirt. And chances are pretty high you're the only name in the hat. So <laughs> and then give us a uh, one person's gonna have forty two T-shirts. Well, no, it's I don't think you keep writing reviews <laughs> every platform. Yeah. And give us any idea of uh, what some of the shirts should say. If you've heard us say something that you thought was pretty funny on the pod, and we'd love to hear it because obviously we can't really remember. A lot of ours are of influenced by Coach Allen and Coach Schultz's sayings, but there are some Coach Allen sayings. Most Coach Allen sayings are not. Can't go on the t-shirt, so we, we're not selling those. So we need some new quotes. And you will not get any royalties. I do want to be very clear on that. If you give us an idea, you will not get a cut. We are stealing it. Copyright trademarks on our sides. Yes, mm-hmm. we have we have great lawyers. Um, yep. I'm actually on it. Yeah. So, but seriously, write a review, get a T-shirt. All righty, guys. Well, that wraps up this uh, DS prediction sh- or recap show slash CS prediction show, and so we'll be back in about a week or sooner, depending on how these series go. But until next time, don't forget to rake, 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 uh, rake your, your position. position. Rake, you know, it's been a while position. since the organ player. Eh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs>